Hi to all. This quick uh, session is about how to create a better version of HTML text uh, component. So first of all, uh, just a few words about me. Uh, I'm Fabio Franzini. I'm CEO of uh, AppV Solutions. I'm Microsoft MVP, both on office development and business category. And uh, of course, I'm a developer, but uh, I wrote code uh, by using uh, TypeScript, Node.js, basically on uh, SharePoint framework, but uh, I love PowerFX, I love Power Apps to create uh, certain applications. So in this slide, you can find some a way to contact me, like my email, my Twitter account, LinkedIn, and GitHub. So the agenda of today, it's uh, just an introduction of the uh, default HTML text component in Power Apps Canvas. And then I want to show you just an apoc of uh, an, a component built on uh, Power Apps uh, component framework to uh, create an, a better version of this uh, default HTML text component. I'll show you some uh, demo and uh, and the code, of course, and then at the end, just uh, an, uh, one, sli one slide with some references. So this is the default, you can see uh, in the slide, the image of the default HTML uh, text component. So basically it's used to show static HTML inside your Canvas app. There are a lot of samples uh, on how to use this component to create uh, some uh, interesting graphical new component just to use HTML. But uh, the first problem is that if you want to generate dynamic HTML, you need to generate uh, the string inside PowerFX uh, by using, for example, the concatenation strings, and then you have to pass this string uh, uh, at this component. And some problems like uh, uh, the performance because you need to calculate the string, or for example, if you want to create uh, complex graphics, you need to use the styles property for the every HTML elements. And then it's not simple to create complex graphics by using just the styles attribute. So, it's used to create, uh, not only to show uh, HTML text, but to create a custom, uh, new custom component by using HTML, but have some problems. For example, it, this, uh, this control not support the internal state. For example, if you want to create a uh, dynamic uh, control, uh, you are not able to uh, manage the internal state and it's not uh, implemented the interactivity like uh, uh, custom events and so on. So this is the reason why I tried to create uh, just an apoc of a uh, PCF component named HTML template component. So this component uh, support the creation of dynamic HTML by using two different properties, the HTML template property and the JSON data. Use, uh, internally use the Microsoft Graph Toolkit templating engine to take, of course, the HTML template and apply the JSON data and uh, implement some interesting stuff like uh, the internal state, the possibility to uh, write custom styles using uh, the syntax of the Tailwind CSS. The Tailwind CSS, later I'll show you uh, inside the, 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 the official website. Uh, the syntax is just uh, uh, um, a set of uh, CSS class name that you can use to apply some styles uh, at the HTML elements. And of course, with this component, you are able to handle custom uh, events by using the standard on change behavior property and two different properties, the event type and event data to pass to the from the component to uh, the, the Canvas app, which uh, custom event uh, you want to invoke and the data that you want to pass. So basically it's an, a component that allow you to create new controls, so component with behaviors and internal state, not only to show HTML, uh, static HTML. So, this slide uh, it's a representation of an example of the uh, HTML template that you can pass to, to this component. And first of all, you are able to see uh, into the class uh, attributes some strings. And these strings is uh, the class names that come from the Tailwind CSS to apply different styles. But inside this uh, anchor element, for, for example, you're able to see the data dash, uh, for example, for or props. And these two attributes come from the, the syntax of the Microsoft Graph Toolkit. So inside this component, I don't use the, the Microsoft Graph Toolkit, but just the engine to apply the template. And for example, you, you are able to see that here you can uh, attach to the click of the anchor some functions and then pass some parameters. 
And then we have the, the syntax to, to bind the, the text that you want to, the value that you want to, to, to show as a text inside the, uh, the, the result. And again, the data dash if, if you want to show or hide uh, some uh, element based on, for example, the return of this uh, get state function. I implement inside this component some function that uh, uh, it's used by the, the template engine to manage the state of the component and, uh, uh, for example, to invoke a custom event. So first of all, we are able to see here the set state uh, function. Uh, this set state uses two parameters, the state name and state value, and it's used to set the internal state uh, if you need to manage the internal state of the component. And then uh, we have uh, another one function uh, named get state uh, that accepts just one uh, parameter, state name, to retrieve, of course, the internal state. Another one for toggle state to toggle the uh, specific state name value with uh, another value. Basically, it's used, for example, for Boolean value to set the true or false. And the last one, it's the invoke event function. Uh, you, you can use to invoke, uh, to emit a custom event and then manage inside the Canvas app by using on change behavior property. So it's time to the demo. First of all, I want to show you, this is my test environment for the Power Apps uh, component framework. And uh, this is the, uh, the component. You are able to see that uh, I'm able here to write some HTML uh, element, and then uh, this HTML, it's uh, uh, rendered inside the component. But for example, if I take some of more complex, like for example, the success message, I'm able to see that I'm able to render more beautiful HTML directly inside this component. So this HTML, it's uh, created by using, uh, again, Tilewind CSS. And Tilewind CSS, it's uh, an open source framework, CSS framework that implement a lot of uh, CSS class name already available. And then you need just to use specific class name to create the complex graphics inside uh, your HTML. Okay, a uh, more complex example could be, for example, this one, timeline. I put this uh, HTML inside, string inside my component, and my component render, again, on a beautiful UI using HTML and Tilewind CSS. Why I use Tilewind? Just because it's more simple to decorate the HTML to apply uh, custom styles, then use uh, directly the style attribute, for example. And the last one that I want to show you, come on, just one moment. It's the complex one, because the, this previous sample rendered only the static HTML. But I want now to show you the possibility to use dynamic HTML by using some JSON value. I copy and paste uh, just on a JSON value. And I want to show you this portion of HTML that use, uh, again, Tilewind and the, the Microsoft Graph Toolkit template syntax to uh, generate dynamically uh, at runtime. So I put this one inside the property and this is the example. So this example, it's uh, re represents, for example, on a, a dashboard. And this data come from the JSON value that I pass to the JSON data property. The good part is if I try to click inside on a specific uh, div, this HTML, it's uh, completely dynamic. And then uh, I'm able to show an another div and uh, inside this another div, of course, it's dynamically. And then if I click different box, the value change. If I click again, I'm able to hide because uh, inside here I use the toggle function inside the template. And then the good part is if I click on the value inside this div, okay, I have two output properties. Sorry, the 
event type details click and the event data uh, that contain the value that I pass this function. So if I click here, for example, or here, and I click the total subscribers, I'm able to show here the total subscriber value. This means that if I go inside uh, a uh, Canvas app demo, that use, of course, this control, okay, and then click on Start. I'm able to see that if I click, it's work, of course. And if I click on the label here, I'm able to show here inside two labels inside the, uh, the Canvas app, the name of the event, the value that I pass to the event, and I'm able to manage the on change property to interact with, the, with an, an event to the Canvas app. For example, these two labels, Take the value from the event data and event type from this HTML template component. But if I navigate here inside the on change event, I'm able to use, for example, the notify to notify some value. Or if I want to implement uh, by using the HTML template and JSON data, for example, on a navigation bar, I'm able to read the uh, event data and the uh, event type. And then, for example, uh, when I click on a specific uh, item uh, inside the, my HTML, navigate to another screen inside the same application. So uh, I don't have too much time, but I want to show you the implementation of this component. So basically, it's a uh, Power Apps uh, component framework by using, uh, of course, uh, TypeScript uh, as a language to create this component and have uh, four different type of uh, properties, the HTML template, the JSON data, event type, event data. This uh, event type and event data, it's uh, two output parameters. And then inside the implementation, we have uh, inside the init, the initialization of the control, we create the template context for the template engine of the Microsoft Graph Toolkit to have the set state, get state, toggle state, and invoke event. And then I use a library, Tailwind, that it's uh, the browser and runtime implement implementation for uh, Tailwind CSS, just to generate, analyze the HTML and generate the style based on the class name present inside the uh, HTML string. Inside the update view, we have just the logic to take uh, the update view, it's uh, called every time that uh, the property uh, of the controller are changed. And then I take the, um, basically the um, HTML template and I pass the template helper that come from the Microsoft Graph Toolkit to render on a specific template inside on a specific element of, of course, the container of my control. And then I pass the data context that come from the JSON data and the template context. And at the end, we have, of course, a get output that return the two output properties. And the magic is inside the template context because we have the possibility to set the, the controls, to update view, or notify output changes. Okay, I think that's all for me. This is the reference I want to show you for the. Um, this, this control, just the uh, the reference for the HTML text control, the default control for uh, Canvas app, how to create component by using uh, the Power Apps component framework, and how to customize, so how to use the template of the Microsoft Graph Toolkit to implement the template for this control, and just an introduction of the Tailwind uh, uh, library to implement the Tailwind uh, CSS inside your HTML template. Thank you. Back awesome. To you, Thank you. Thank you, Fabio. Really, really cool stuff. I uh, included those links there into the chat for everyone as well so they can reference them. Mm -hmm.